Hi, this is Mike Hawkins with Gen Hawk Construction on uh, behalf of Ruth Campbell for AMS uh, Realty. Uh, we're out here at 803 uh, Casa Marina and uh, taking a look at what Ventura Pest Control has demoed already. Um, we can see that they uh, have demoed this little bit of area to kind of expose what's going on. Um, your cantilever joists don't look too bad, okay? There is a slight infection over here, but what's really the glaring issue is your rim joist right here. Okay, it's a two by 10 rim joist, which has to come out. The uh, infestation and infection uh, goes up to the two by four uh, stem wall in the bottom plane. It doesn't look like it's going up into the joist that much or too bad, but here's your culprit right here, okay? Your scupper. Your scupper's been damaged, so during water, uh, during rain, water was just pouring right into it, okay? So the scupper needs to be replaced. The two by four on this side needs to be replaced. <coughs> now the job flow for this thing is we're gonna have to take off this rough sawn plywood. It's half inch rough sawn plywood. I would take it off here uh, behind this trim, demo this piece of trim here, okay, to expose the cantilever joists. Like I say, I'm pretty sure that the joists aren't bad because the, the ends aren't bad. Um, there is some 5 8 Type X drywall um, uh, for fire barrier on it as well. That's going to need to be replaced. Um, and we're going to have to demo the rough sawn plywood up here. Okay, this is less than four foot, so they're running their sheets horizontally. Okay, we would uh, cut it behind here. I'm, I can almost guarantee there's a splice behind this trim board here. And we're going to take it from right here where you can see the existing splice. Okay, this will expose the rim joist, I believe enough uh, to where there's no more damage. The infection is pretty localized because of the scupper, because of the scupper damage. So once I take off this plywood, I should be able to get to uh, good wood. Uh, my recommendation would be to cut the rim joist off at, at a cantilever joist for, for nailing purposes and replace the 2x10 rim joist. Okay, now once this is exposed, I can probably uh, cut and scoot in a new 2x4 under here as well. Uh, the plywood is bad, uh, so the big problem is going to be uh, cutting out some decking on uh, unit 308. We're going to have to cut a patch of decking to replace the scupper and to get rid of the uh, uh, fungal infection that's going on here. Um, which means we're going to have to employ a new life deck system, um, a three-part epoxy-based uh, um, painting deck coating system. Uh, but all in all, uh, I would guess that this job, from beginning to end, painted and all, would probably run about four or five days. Um, I'm going to obviously go home and write you a formal estimate and really think about the timeline on this. But it's nothing that uh, nothing too major, nothing uh, too bad. Probably looking at around um, I don't know, probably around three grand or so. Um, three grand if it's four days, maybe thirty-five hundred if it's five. Um, so, like I say, it's not too bad. Um, I do denote a strap here, but like I say, this is your big culprit. Just the scupper just rotted out, and then when it rained, instead of the water coming all the way through and exiting the building, it started leaking at this corner and just pouring down into here. Water logging this, fungus just started, and you can tell it's been going on for a couple of years. So, uh, Casa Marina, uh, Unit 308, Mike Hawkins, Jen Hawk, with Jen Hawk Construction, uh, uh, for Ruth Campbell. That is all.